We're really excited to introduce you to a new product, uh, Q College, that you guys have probably heard about. My name is Sarah Hermson, and this is going to be a continuation of our Wednesday webinar series. Again, like most of these, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the Q&A portion of the webinar at any point, and we'll be responding to those after the webinar. This one's going to be easy breezy, maybe about a half an hour today, as we break down um, this great resource that's really going to help our users and was created specifically for you, our clients. So let's jump right into it. Today we're going to talk about what is Q College. You guys have heard some buzz about it, but we'll break down what it is and why it was created. The foundation, so what are the bones, the backbone of this system. Uh, your ability to find what you need. How do you do that? Your voice. You have the biggest input into how Q College will look and grow as we move forward. We'll talk about the future of Q College. We're continuing to build and grow. And then again, we'll give you some contact information at the end for you to be able to reach out and ask questions or offer any suggestions that you might have for topics into Q College. So the first thing I want to start with is my Q1. <coughs> Excuse me. If you've not heard about my Q1, this is an amazing, uh, Q College is just one of several products, as you'll see on your screen, that is part of my Q1. My Q1 is an incredible, it's a unified user experience for people who are coming on for try our clients to see the products that they have. It has, um, we can deploy our services faster, updates and everything are right through the screen. And then also with single sign-on, if you guys are familiar with what single sign-on is, you only have to log on once to MyQ1 um, and you're all set. The security on that is better and it's a simple, easier way for you guys to be able to access this database. For the products that you'll see that are grayed out, it means you don't have access to those products. But we wanted to make sure that all, everything that we create is visible for you. So these might be products, they might be services, um, and other things that will continue to roll out and grow. So if you're interested in anything that is grayed out on your MyQ1 screen, you would reach out to Patrick Murphy, our amazing salesperson, at pmurphy at triarphealth.com. Again, anything that's grayed out, he can work with you to launch. Right now, um, we have all of the primary contacts for our active users. If you are the primary contact and have been designated as such, you have access to my Q1. So your login, it would be the same as your login for Q College. Your login would be um, your email address that you use and have set up with us and then Q College 2019 exclamation point. There was an email that was sent out earlier this week that kind of broke down the announcement and also broke down how the practice users can use that. So again, if you have any questions or need that resent, there'll be uh, an email at the end of this webinar that you can write down and we can send that again. But again, all currently all active Triarch accounts the primary contact has access. And we'll show you at the end of the webinar how you can add additional users to Q College and MyQ1. So what is Q College? Let's get into the meat of this. So Q College was created as a really robust training hub for our clients to be able to access, and for us internally, to be able to access information to inform, to train, and to support our trier clients in multiple ways with videos, presentations, um, quick guides, user manuals, and really from a knowledge management perspective, break it down so that your user experience is the best it can possibly be. It's really an empowering tool for our clients so that you can get the information that you want when you need it 24-7. So this was created for you to make everyone's life easier. You can see how in here we'll have instructions on how to use different products, on various uh, workflows, and then making your day-to-day -day flow more smoothly, uh, hopefully. So you can log right on here. You can't, you've got a patient right in front of you. 
You can't break away to call your performance manager or your trainer. You can easily bring this up, put in a keyword search and find the information that you're looking for and continue to move on with your day. That simple access, add a clip to get the answers that you need. Of course, we love for you to call your trainer and performance manager. Please do not think um, that this is a substitute for that at all. This is an additional resource, again, to empower you to be able to get that information at your fingertips anytime that you need it. So this is Q College. This is, let's talk about the, fin the foundation of Q College, which is really the categories. So it's very similar to my Q1, where each icon is either a product or a service that Triarch offers. This breakdown, when you first log in, this will be your dashboard. You can see how dashboard is highlighted in the top left. And on that will be the seven different categories. So again, the categories are more of the major subject level, such as Q Pathways, Q Mobile, Q EMR, some of our biggest services that we offer for everyone um, so that you can get into those. If you have any suggestions, again, this is growing site. So if you have suggestions that you're looking to see more of, please reach out to us. And again, we'll show you at the end how to be able to do that. Um, so it's broken into categories, courses, and topics. So everything is really structured from an information standpoint to get you to what you need really quickly. Um, so the courses, after you click one of these, you'll see that each of them are broken into various courses. So again, this is more of a, a targeted search, grouping those things into the category, uh, the courses and, and, and headings that you most look for in the way that really we try to mimic workflow in an office. So these are the things that you would look up, you know, I need help with my dashboard. I need help with my appointments and schedules. And you'd be able to, to see this breakdown. Always keep an eye out at the bottom of the page. You'll see at the bottom here where the arrow is, and there's one, two, and three, and next. There's often additional pages of courses and topics that we want you to make sure you're seeing all of the information we have available. So again, when you click on the QEMR category, you'll see it shows on the top left. It breaks down the courses, so these kind of subcategories for you. And then you'll see how many topics are within the, the each course. So how many, whether it's a video, a user guide, a presentation, a PowerPoint, a PDF, um, a, a, a computer-based training for you to watch, it's all gonna be um, within there. So you can see right here, QEMR broken into vitals, tasking, messaging, and such. Now the big screen and the area that you'll be in mostly when you're in Q College is the topic screen. So this is your standard topic screen. So once I clicked appointments and schedules from the courses, it brings up all of the topics that are part that are related to appointments and schedules. So this is how it will break down. You'll see on the left hand side, it will show you a listing of every topic, meaning again, those presentations, PowerPoints that relates to that course. So right here on the left hand side, there's the search bar. So there's a universal search bar I'll talk about in a minute that is at the top of every single page that you go through in Q College. So you can easily type in a keyword and, and find a topic quickly. But once you're within topics, you'll see some of our topics, especially as we get into MIPS measures, can have 24 to 50 topics related to the course. So to look within all the list of all of those topics, you just have to type into this search bar and it'll do a focus search within that topic list. So again, you've broken it down to where you think you need to be and you can get even more specific and search within that search bar and it'll bring up the information you're looking for. Every single item within the topics is printable. So you just have to click this nifty print icon on the right hand side of your screen. It'll format everything nicely for you um, with the heading on the top and you can either print that to a PDF if it's something you want to save on a desktop or you can print that to your printer and it'll print out for you. One thing that can happen is um, also here if you're done with the list and you want to look at something, say it's a more robust uh, quick guide or user manual, 
Uh, you may want to look at it full screen. For me, myself, I have uh, older eyes. It's nice to have things as big as possible. So you can click this button right next to where it says appointments and schedules, and it'll make it full screen. So you see it gets rid of that list on the left-hand side for you and makes it bigger font for you. I really appreciate this. Also, you can lose your way. So the best way to use this is to just get in there and start clicking and play around and one topic will lead you to another topic. So very much like once you get into Google and it takes you to another article and another article, it'll be the same once you're in Q College. You'll find one quick guide that leads you to a video that leads you to a presentation, which we love. That's the whole, the whole thing is to get you access to that information as much as possible. But if you ever lose your way and you're not sure where this topic is at, it's always at the top for you. So you'll see this topic is actually called appointment schedule blocks. This is the quick guide for how to create a schedule block within your appointments field of the EMR. And right up at the top here, you'll, it'll always list the course. So again, your appointments and schedules was the name of the course and it's within the category EMR. So you can never really lose your way. It'll be right there for you on how you navigated to this field. Um, and every single one of our topics has this so that you can see if you ever need to find it again um, or you're ever not sure where you're at, you can see this. Because we do have some similar quick guides. There are things for setting up appointments from within the QPM. And so you can make sure you're on the right category and on the right course when you're looking at your data. And again, that's in every single topic for you. The videos, again, in the, in the way of making this as easy as possible for you to do as few clicks as possible to get you the data, you can, the video will launch right within the website. And you don't have to click and go to another website. You don't have to click a link and it opens another window. You can literally just click the play icon in the middle of the video and it'll start playing it right there within Q College for you. Again, I wanted to show the search bar on the left hand side because all of our videos will have this appendix that says hyphen video. So if you type in video, it will bring up every single training video that we have within Q College. So as we continue to expand and create more videos, if you are the type of person who learns best visually, you may want to learn through a video. So that is um, a great resource of searching, finding our videos and launching them again. They're right within uh, that web page. It'll stay right there and play within that topic screen. So really convenient as well. The next thing I want to talk about is the search bar. So at the very top, we saw in our dashboard, at the very top right of every single screen will be this contact us button, your little icon, and your name. If that's not your name, again, after you've logged in, please reach out to us and we'll be able to fix that for you. But that is what it'll look like. Can you see right underneath that is that magnifying glass. When you click that, you'll see a little hand button pops up. It'll expand and you can type anything into the search bar. The great thing about this feature is that it, when you search, so let's search on MIPS again, we're always trying to attest, enumerate, and run our dashboards. If you type in MIPS, it will break down everything by course and topic. So you can see there's an actual big course on MIPS. You can click on that and it'll take you to the course. And, or you can go to specific topics and list how many there are, and then you can click those links. You can also, as, as Q College continues to grow, and currently there are almost 200 topics that are within here, you'll be able to filter that down by category, course, topic, and attachment. So if you know, you saw an attachment before that mentioned MIPS, you can click on that and it'll just show the ones that have attachments. You can look at the ones that are just topics because you're specifically looking for something related to MIPS. So again, this is a great way when you're searching that it breaks down, it will present this to you as courses and topics. And then you again have the power to filter what you want. I've talked a lot in this webinar so far about empowerment and about your voice and how this was created specifically to empower and aid our practices to get the knowledge that they need. 
please know that throughout this entire process, as this product continues to grow and become more robust, your voice matters. What we have in here is what you need. And if you don't see what you need, please reach out to us. So again, we talked about that toolbar at the top that's on every single page that you go on to. That contact us button means with one click, you can send us any questions that you may have about Q College. You can also send any suggestions. So you, there, you know something, if you're the practice manager and there's been one topic you've had to repeatedly train your staff on, the, the front desk that you know is helpful for doctors, please suggest that we create a quick guide, a user manual, a video. Don't hesitate to click that contact us button and send us a suggestion for something that you would like to see within Q College. Also click for guidance. You may not be able to find something within Q College. And of course, you can reach out to your trainer. You can reach out to your performance manager. But again, with this, you can click the contact us button and say, I'm looking for any kind of documents on this. And we can navigate Q College and send you links to what you're looking for. And then also, again, I mentioned earlier in the webinar that currently all of the primary contacts for all of our active accounts currently have access to Q College, but anyone can get access. So please, if you'd like to add users, click contact us, just send us a list of the names, first and last name, and the email address for the users you would like to add, and we will add those. It can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, but that person will then be able to access all the things that you can access within Q College. So again, if you don't find anything as you start playing around and something sounds interesting, that contact us button is on the top of every single page. So please don't hesitate to click it. And again, I've talked a little bit about how, you know, we're really proud of Q College and how robust it is currently, but we're going to continue to grow it, continue to make it a, an even more intuitive learning resource for you. So a couple things that we're doing right now as we continue to go to grow and build is we're currently testing. You're going to be able to access Q College from your cell phone. So again, just going to the website, logging in, and then here's a quick glimpse at what a category broken down into courses will look like. So you'll see really user-friendly, the user experience on this thing is incredibly nice. You'll see on the regulatory and compliance side, right at the top is that search bar. Regulatory and compliance is the main category we're looking at. And then breaking down into those classes and listing those courses and listing how many topics are within each course. So again, clicking right at the tip of your, right at your fingertips. Another thing that we're looking at in the future is creating assessments and quizzes. So as we are onboarding new practices, um, as you might have a new person coming in um, that you would like them to learn the EMR or the PM, whatever you need them to learn, we'll be adding questions and answers and having assessments and quizzes on various things. So a quick question would be, which toolbar option do you click to view the settings options in the EMR? We can make it multiple choice. We can make it true or false, and then we can list the answers and click what the answer is, and then launch various assessments from within here as well. So this is another thing that we are working on currently, so that maybe at you know, two weeks before your go live date, you have an assessment that you take within the office, and we're able to see what we need to retrain you on um, before you go live. Or you have a new person who comes in and they take their basic assessment as kind of an intro to EMR so that you can see after a couple of weeks of your office training them or us training them that they are, they have the knowledge that they need or what they're still missing and need retraining on. So these are going to be great tools in the future that we're continuing to build out for this. So again, with Q College, the best thing that you can do is get into it and play with it. Um, there is, uh, I can show you the link in just a second um, for my Q1. The primary contact for each office already received an email that breaks down how to log in. If you did not receive this, if you're a doctor and you would like the instructions on how to log in, how to create a user ID, you would reach out to Q College. You can either reach out to myself, S. Hermson at triarthealth.com, 
Or as always, you can reach out to Q College. So that's qcollege1 at triarchhealth.com will be the main email address, again, for those suggest suggestions. Um, if you're outside of the of Q College and can't click the Contact Us button, or if you want to add users or receive instructions on how to log in to Q College, how to log into my Q1. And again, please reach out to Patrick Murphy for any questions you may have about my Q1 and any of the products or services you have grayed out on your screen. So again, this was a very high level overview of Q College. Again, an introduction just to get you um, in, uh, introduced to the visibility and the breakdown and the foundation of it with the, the categories, courses, and topics. It's up to you to play in it. Let us know what you need so that we can create it for you. And we'll continue to have webinars on Q College as things get rolled out and the, the product continues to grow. Our next webinar is in two weeks and it is about our Q mobile product. So you'll be receiving emails later this week and again throughout the week next week um, with the link to register for that training. So thank you so much. Again, like all of our Wednesday webinars within 24 hours, this will be posted on our website with a link sent out. The PowerPoint will also be posted as well as any questions that were posted within the Q&A chat of this webinar will also be posted on that website. Again, any questions, I'm Sarah Harmson. Thank you so much for your time today. We're really excited about this. We hope you feel empowered. We hope you find the information that you need um, and it continues to be a resource that helps you your day-to-day -day become even easier using our products. Thank you and have a great afternoon.